In this short video, I'll show you how to do chi-square tests and Fisher's exact tests in Stata. We'll start with the univariate chi-square tests. Suppose you have a sample of counts that come from a multinomial uh, random variable. So to make things concrete, imagine you survey 30 people and you ask them of the flavors strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, which flavor do they prefer? In this case, we're going to get three numbers back. Uh, we'll get the counts of people that liked strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. We're going to get 30. Well, our data comes from 30 people, but we're going to get three numbers back, which are the counts of people that gave each as an answer. Uh, suppose we want to test the hypothesis that everyone likes these flavors uh, equally. Or rather, there's a, an a equal proportion of people that prefer each flavor in our, in our population, and we have a sample. Okay, so we think that the probability in each case is one-third, and we're going to do a univariate chi-score test of that hypothesis. Okay, so we survey our people, we get back numbers, and say 15 people prefer strawberry, 10 preferred vanilla, and 5 preferred chocolate. Okay, under the null hypothesis, uh, that means that we would expect to get 10 people liking each flavor. And so each of these is, well, if we call these the PIs, so we've got P1, P2, and over here we have P3. In that case, each of these, well, this one is P1, times, well, the, the probability times n, which is 30. And so that's where we get the 10s. Okay, so these are expected numbers, and these are our observed numbers. Okay, now, to do this test, uh, Stata, well, well, Stata doesn't have a built-in commands to do this test. Okay, Stata has built-in commands for the, the bi bivariate chi-square test, which we'll see in a moment, uh, but not for the univariate. Luckily, Nick Cox uh, has created a package called tab chi that does include a command for this. And all you need to do is say net install tab chi and you'll get that package loaded up. And that comes with a few different commands, including chi test, which is great when you have data in your data set with these counts in it. And chi test i, which stands for chi test interactive, which is what you use if you just have the numbers and you just want to type them right in. Uh, at the command line. And so what you do is you give it your counts. Okay, that's where we have our 15, our 15, 10, and 5. Oops, our 15, 10, and 5. Those are our observed counts. Observed, and then 10, 10, 10. These are our expected. Okay, and crunch, crunch, crunch. Stata computes the appropriate chi-square statistic. That's this one here. Uh, I wouldn't pay much attention to this one, although if you get very different answers, you might want to investigate. Uh, but the traditional one is the Pearson chi-square. And it's nice enough to give you the um, p-value as well. So that's the p-value. Okay. All right, so in this case, p-value is 0 0.082, cannot reject and uh, you should be good to go on estimating chi-square, univariate chi-square tests. Now, what about bivariate? Well, bivariate's actually easier, okay? Suppose you have data on college graduation, so you have a large sample of young adults, and you have information on whether they graduated from college and whether they didn't graduate from college. So here are, and we also have a race distribution. So we have white, black, and other. So we have a large number of observations. In this case, we've got 2,246. And for each combination, the tab command, which most of you should already be familiar with, gives us uh, the counts for each combination. So for example, in this case, we have 480 individuals that, that self-identified as black who did not go to college and 103 who self-identified as black that did go to college. Okay. Now, we want to test whether or not, we're going to do a Pearson chi-square test of whether this distribution 
is the same as this distribution. Well, the populations are the same. In other words, that uh, the probabilities of a person who is did or is college educated, that's right here, uh, is any one of these that is white, black, or other is the same as the prob as the set of probabilities that someone who is not college educated uh, is white, black, or other. Now, you might think that's strange. I thought we were going the other way. I thought that what this test was all about was testing whether or not um, the distributions for each race, okay, across college, not college, and college were the same. Well, guess what? It's the same test. Okay. The, if you transpose your your matrix of observed counts, uh, it doesn't change what your statistic is. If you take a look at the formula, that's pretty clear. All right. So what do you do to, to make this work? Well, all you do is you make sure you have a comma chi 2 in your at the end of your tab command. So it's not even a separate command. It's just an option on the tabulate command. So remember, tab is just short for tab whew, tab u late okay uh, and there's your Pearson chi-square statistic and our p-value in this case boy we can strongly reject that the distributions are the same whether that's the race distributions for college educated and not college educated um, or the college distributions for each race group. All right, now what do you do if one of these cell counts is less than five, if one or more is less than five? Well, in that case, you can't depend on your test statistic being approximately a chi-squared uh, random variable, coming a draw from a chi-squared random variable, okay? Well, in that case, uh, you wanna do a Fisher's exact test. Okay, the Fisher's exact test is great for these cases because it doesn't rely on uh, large samples, it doesn't not rely on any central limit theorem. And so when you've got small counts like we do here, note that this is the same test, but I'm restricting my sample to only people that are age 35. Why would you want to do that? I don't know, either maybe you're, you're very curious about 35 year olds or uh, you just want to get a smaller sample that has cell counts that are small. Uh, you can guess which was the case right here. All right, so what do we do? Well, all we have to do is add an exact option at the end of our, our tab command, okay? And in this case, uh, can we reject the null? No. Um, if we were gonna go ahead and do our Pearson chi-square test anyway, I said to do both, uh, we would get a Pearson chi-square statistic and a p-value of 0.845, but the correct answer the exact answer that doesn't depend on any sort of central limit theorem is this one right here, 0.679. Okay, that's the probability of observing a matrix this far from the expected matrix um, if in fact the distributions were identical. Now, why don't we just use the, the, the Fisher's exact test all the time? Well, as soon as your matrix get much, gets, any, gets much more complicated than this one, uh, the Fisher's exact test is pretty hard to compute. So um, if you ever try to do a Fisher's exact test on a five by five matrix, um, hopefully you've got a lot of time in your hands because it's going to um, take an extremely long time to commute, compute. And that's it, how to implement chi-square tests and Fisher's exact tests in Stata.